Good afternoon. I'm John Musso. I am the President, CEO, and Director of Fixed Income here at Cumberland Advisors. It is Friday afternoon on December 11th. This week, we saw yields come down. 10-year Treasury bond came down from 0.97 to 0.89. 30-year bond came down from about 173 to 167. Uh, a flattening of the yield curve. Why was that? Well, this week we saw continuing COVID cases rising across the nation, even with the good news of the vaccine being out there. So clearly we're still fighting the battle to try to get this awful, awful pandemic under control. At the same time, we still haven't made progress in Congress, although it's looking a little better that we'll get a stimulus bill sooner rather than later. So there's still a lot of contention there. All this has conspired to bring yields down this week. We also had a you know, jobless claims number that went higher, not lower. So it's back to around the 850 level, higher than the market was expecting. Again, clearly related to the flare up in COVID cases across the nation. We expect the news to get better as we go forward, clearly. Uh, Inflation numbers this week, very benign. CPI number year over year is 1.6, really right around expectations. We do expect those numbers to start to climb next year as you get into a world that starts to experience vaccines here. On the muni side, deals very well subscribed for. Uh, yields not down quite as much as on treasuries, but probably one to three basis points across the board. Interesting though, looking at triple B type bonds, which we generally speaking at Cumberland don't buy, very big demand for those types of bonds. So it is like investors are saying, yeah, we really have a thirst for yield, so we'll, we'll buy triple Bs, but we want to stay in investment grade, which triple B are. So you, you, that's really the investor wanting to have his cake and eat it too. Uh, it's certainly the case with this drive for yield that at this, this time you really want to be very extra careful on credit, and it's really a good time to start upgrading the quality uh, in bond portfolios, and that's something that we're doing as we're heading into the end of the year. Uh, after this week, it'll get very quiet. We'll have a few deals next week, but really uh, that will be it, and you'll be pretty much done for the year. So quiet week, ratcheting down in bond yields, uh, and we'll watch it for next week. Thanks a lot, and have a great weekend. Hi, Matt McAleer, Director of Equity Strategies at Cumberland Advisors, December 11th, just before the close today. Fairly quiet week in the equity markets this week. Dow off about 1%, call it 30,000. S&P off about the same. Uh, small caps continued with that bid. Now, in our U.S. equity portfolio, we have a very solid weighting to towards small and mid. So we're feeling very good there. In our tactical portfolio, while we have a weighting in, in equal weight, mid cap, small cap, biotech, and equal weighted technology, we're still a little, we're still overweight large cap. A little uncomfortable there. Just giving a little insight into the management of two different strategies. Often we talk about diversification among securities. Diversify a basket of stocks. Diversify a basket of bonds. You also want to diversify the strategies you run. Not one strategy is always the ideal strategy to be in. Think about complementing your strategies in your overall allocation. Perfect example. Trade we did this week, as a matter of fact, trade we did today in U.S. equity. We let go of the banks. Banks have been on a tear, up 15% for us in the last 30 days. We let go of them. You heard John mention a little pressure on rates this week. 10-year down to 88 bips. Maybe that's the, the, the German 10-year German going to minus 63. Maybe it's Spain and Portugal on the porch of negative rates. Whatever it may be, that tends to keep a cap on our rates. Little pressure on the banks. After such a move the last 30 days, we'll take those off. We will revisit them at another level. If not, we'll look at something else. That was in our U.S. portfolio. In our tactical portfolio, tactical trend, which owns J.P. Morgan, we didn't do a trade there. 
JP Morgan fits into that portfolio and creates a, a little bit of a total return dynamic through its three and a half or three and three quarter percent dividend yield where it was put on in the portfolio, gives us a little bit of income, gives us a little bit of uh, safety net on drawdown, fits nicely into that strategy. So two different strategies within Cumberland. One boots the banks, one keeps a bank. Just that thought process of what are we trying to accomplish with objectives. And that's what we talk about with, with clients and prospective clients all the time. What are we trying to accomplish? How do we get there? One strategy doesn't tend to get it done. We want to complement strategies, create an allocation, perhaps balance them with fixed income to reach that end objective. Have a great weekend. We'll be back next Friday.